fun video. We're going to pair Erich against Sigrid against Usha and see who can do the most damage. We get this legendary as a free legendary. Should we be grateful that they gave us this legendary? That's what we want to know, right? We want to know, is it worth our resources to level this guy up? Should you put legendary skill scrolls into him if he's your only legendary? Keep that in mind when we're looking at the testing, right? Remember, Sigrid's got skills into her. She's got fully booked because she's a rare. It's easy to book her out. And Usha only has books in her second ability, not in her third. So she's not at three seconds quicker. And of course, Erich has no books into him at all. But we do get him as a free hero. He has a AoE for his battle skill, his first ability, and then kind of an AoE for his second ability. It's really not, though. It's just five meteors that come down, and they strike different targets. It's not like he hits an area and does damage to everybody in that area. He just has five meteors, and it actually does better on bosses if there's only one boss on the screen. So all five hits hit that boss, and it's pretty good damage for that. So let's see. Let's see how they match up. You think right now, you tell me. Who do you think is going to do the best? Single target, who's going to do the best? Multi-target, because we're going to go up against three dummies. One test dummy, then against three test dummies. And then we're going to go into Grave of Venom against the Harpy. Have him as my main DPS, and then have the rest as my main DPS. And right now, tell me down below in this video comment, which one do you think is going to be the best overall? Who's going to do the best at single target? and the best at AoE damage, and then the best on the Harpy. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're on the target dummy. It's only one. Now, we have help, right? I didn't just bring Erich in there. I brought him in there with a rare Netta to make sure she could wild proc at a 60% chance rate to get him up to 100% wild proc rate so he'll be primed and ready to do max damage every time. I did the same thing down there with uh, Usa. She's got somebody giving her frost up all the time so that she'll do her max damage as well by having that frosty buff up all the time. Sigrid's down there all by herself. She's got nobody to help her out with damage, but that's okay. Sigrid is a boss. She doesn't need anybody to help her out. Let's check these numbers out. We got Sigrid at 800,000. We got Usha at 900,000. And then we've got Erich with 768,000. Single target damage. Okay. All right, Erich, you lose, buddy. You lose to rares. Let's go on to the multi battle and see if he's see if he can pick up against going against multiple enemies out there when we run him through the goblin cave or we're taking out a boss that has side minions, something like that. I'm sure as a legendary, he's gonna perform well for us, way better than rares. I mean, he's a legendary; they give us for free, so he's gotta be good. Gotta be. Same setup. This time, though, I do have Dinch down there putting up debuffs for Sigrid, right? With debuffs up, Sigrid's going to do a multi-hit. This is the way I run her through the Goblin Cave. I'm farming Goblin Cave 3, stage 1 right now, and making a 1-star, but I'm really happy to get that 1-star, and I bring either Dinch in or Ratha in to make sure I have debuffs up, and really, Dinch this guy down here, because these debuffs go up for 15 seconds, makes it so that she's firing off all the time. Also... You can't see the additional damage Sigrid's going to do on something like the Goblin Cave in this video. Because when they die, she gets a turn meter increase. So she'll blow both of these and do like double damage, triple damage over both of the other two in the Goblin Cave if there's debuffs up enough. If you bring in somebody like Dench, she will just blow that place apart. But here we go. Three targets. Legendary. Legendary. And we got the multi-hit over there with Sigrid. We got an AoE ability with, you know, 3x3 three three square with Usha. And when she does that slice with the frost up, she's going to do double damage. That's 800 normally turned into 1600 for Usha on multi-target like this. So you know she's going to do some serious damage. You're doubling that damage. She can do it herself. When she does her ultimate, she can actually put up that frost and get that double damage by herself. But... Obviously, if we're running through somewhere and we really want to know her max potential, we want Frost up all the time for that passive ability to do double damage on her basic attack every two hits. And then, of course, we want debuffs up with Sigrid so she can do multi-shot and just burn everybody down. We want our wild proc over there with Netta so our legendary can get up to where he's wild proccing all the time whenever he does his moves. The rest of these heroes that are with them to support them, they don't have any gear really on them, so we're not looking at those numbers. We're looking at the numbers of our heroes here, and we are done. Okay, so we've got 1,274,000 for Sig, which would be 
quadruple that in something like the Goblin Cave or anywhere else where people are dying, and she gets her ultimate back up over and over and over again. Usha is pulling in some crazy numbers because whenever she does her ultimate, she's doing 1,600 damage on three targets. And then we've got Erich pulling in his numbers. So remember, Sigrid's going to be way higher if people are dying. We've got Usha pulling in way more numbers than Erich there on multi-target. And he is our free legendary. Okay, let's get on to the boss. Let's see what we're doing here with the boss battle. What if Erich is going to be your main DPSer in Grave of Venom or anywhere else? I'm going to tell you this right now. If it was anywhere else with just one boss, he would do perform much better than he's performing here. He would. He really would. Because that five meteor strike does do good damage on a single target. But here's where I'd want to use him. Why do I need him in those other dungeons? Those other dungeons, I need, I need, you know, block healing. I need multi-shots. I need debuffs going up along with my AoE to benefit Sigrid, to benefit everybody else. I don't need somebody just doing wild damage. He's just doing damage and he's got wild procs. I don't need somebody to wild proc at a 30% chance that eventually goes up higher and higher when he does his skills. What happens is he wild procs and he gets 20% additional damage. Plus he does a little, a little extra damage. I think it's 70% of attack on his uh, passive whenever he wild procs. So he gets that too. But here, he's spreading the damage too much. He's hitting the orbs. When he does his ultimate, check out his ultimate. He does the meteor strike, but it's not all on the boss. It's going to these other orbs. He's spreading himself way too thin. And if you know, Sigrid, when she gets the harpy down to half-life, Sigrid's AI starts targeting with the ultimate ability, the other wisp. And if you don't know about that, just go watch my other videos on how to get you through Grave of Venom, Grave of Curse, all rares, level stage 8, very easy. Just did a video tonight on Flame Domain stage 5. Stage 4 is extremely easy. I did a video a couple days ago. Go check out all that stuff if you're curious how to do it in a pretty easy manner. As long as you have those rare heroes, and I'm hoping you eventually will pull them. But we get this one for free. This is my account, by the way. This is not the test server. I took Erich up to 93 on my account and I wish I could get it all back I want it all back baby give me my experience give me my levels I don't want your shitty legendary on my roster I just don't need it if I'm doing a wild team I'm hoping I'm pulling better wild champions like total nan the lizard that does amazing damage by the way I've got an epic tier list with pictures coming out tonight later on after these two videos so go check that out we're going to have lots of tier lists with pictures, detailed information. It's, it's really good. I like the way I'm doing it. And then eventually, once I do all the epics, I'm going to put them in order of where they place best for dungeons. But look, he spread so much damage. Look at the boss's damage. I'm going to jump forward here. Basically, what's going to happen is, here's, here's the, the short of it all. He does not kill the boss. There we go. Defeated because we ran out of time. Sigrid just kills the boss, but the only reason why Sigrid is not destroying this boss a minute early is because she keeps firing her ultimate. She changes her targeting at the halfway point of the boss. Why she does that, I don't know. I've talked to the content creator chat about it. When they get back from vacation, I hope they fix it because even the main character in there won't target the boss properly. There's some really weird AI targeting going on in Grave of Venom. But Erich... He's not there, baby. He is not the one. So any tier list you're looking at where people say he's amazing, obviously they don't play this game. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about, really. He's not amazing. Can he be amazing on a wild team for himself? He can be. He can get to a chance to where he can 100% proc rate his wild on both of his abilities, which will then help out some other people who feed off of allies doing wild procs. Is that is that really going to be good for him? No. You would put Tonal Nan an epic that will blow him away or some other heroes in there. A lot of the new wild heroes, if you have them in there and they'll probably do way better than he's going to do. He's just not it. He has a really small AOE for his, uh, for his battle skill. And then his ultimate is just that five strike that does it to people in an area, but it only hits five random people in that area and going up against one boss. It is much better. So could you use him against the vortex boss in your current wild team? If you needed another wild hero, you could, and he's going to do respectable numbers. But as far as being useful in the game, 
No. Sigrid is useful in the game to get through all content. Multiple dungeons to get through content. Do amazing things in like eight different dungeons. A main staple for those dungeons to get us content done. And I can use her as DPS in here for decrease attack so we take less damage in Grave of Venom. So no, I don't like him. I wish I had my resources back. You guys let me know your thoughts on him down below. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in a video soon.